Oh! Oh, dude, what are you? I'm not moving. I'm not moving. It's like it almost grabbed me or something. Ah! No, 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 Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to another video on the Doot Doot channel. Today, we're back, we're playing Faith again, because it's amazing, it's an amazing game. And uh, after playing the first chapter, and then playing, like, Step Right Up Adventure Isle, I've been wanting to play it again, so... We're gonna do chapter two today. Yeah, and if I sound extremely tired, it's because I am. So, uh, yeah. Alright, chapter two. Last time... We fought Amy, she escaped, I think, and then that little thing on the screen right now, we've, we've, I went back to my car and I got hit by a truck or something, I don't even know. I'm not sure if that was the ending I was supposed to get or not, but, kind of, I don't, I don't know. Oh, what? I'm about to relearn how to play this game. What is this place? Wait, I'm not John. Wait, am I a different guy? I'm gray. John's blue. I got like, is that a wooden cross or something? Alright, let's read this note. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. So are we Father Garcia? Is this to us? And somebody named Michael Davies is in our custody. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation and return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. I'm just gonna have to assume we're Father Garcia. Why? So, Michael? Was that his name? I already forgot. So, why did we. Why is he in our custody? Are these photos? Wait, is this the. No, this isn't the same house. Wait, is it? No, it can't be. These like Polaroids all over the wall. Oh, two weeks. Yikes. He ain't looking too hot. One day. Oh, he's such a happy guy. So something happened to him. Obviously. Are we gonna find him down here? Ye oh my God. Wait. Wait. Is that like that thing? I thought he died. Oh. Poor guy. What the heck? Yikes, bro. <laughs> Do you Whoa, don't call me that. Okay, so yeah, that's that thing. The little, the guys that run on all fours. I thought there were like, just like a multiple of them. I guess, it, is it just one guy? Alright. Time for your daily, I was gonna say baptism. Time for your ba daily, uh, what is this? Ex exorcism? Be gone, demon. Oh, oh god, what's happening? You don't like it, bro? Oh, I'm sorry. No! Uh oh. Yeah, I'm out of here. Oh! No, you get back here! Michael! Michael! Michael. Don't leave, leave me, me here. here! Sorry, I don't know why. No, he's escaping. Get no! Oh. Oh, dude. We're in like an apartment you building. He just. You. What, have you done? what did you. Oh, God. Well. <laughs> Why does he run like that? Yeah, so that was Father Garcia. Okay, now we're playing as John again. So where- oh, hi, buddy. So where are we after the events of chapter one? Like, I w oh, who did that? Michael, was this you again, you silly little guy? What did I tell you about disfiguring deers and stringing them up in the trees? All right, notice. The current investigation being conducted at the Gallup Cemetery by the State of the Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the, sur the surrounding woods, any wildlife, and any unidentified persons roaming in the area. Thank you for your patience. So this is spread, like, outside. 
Of course, we're going to the cemetery. Uh, yikes. That was a terrible sound. So, I wonder, did I get a cannon ending? Or is that, like, are they all cannon? I don't really know. I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long-lost friend. Bro, what the freak? Literally, what the flip, dude. Dearest disciple, verily not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to the safe family tomb whenever you are in need of rest. Gary. You know, I guess I'll go in. Enter the spirit house. Oh. Sup, guys? Oh. What the freak? What is this place? Why, why is he smiling like that? He's like, yeah, just so you know, I got this key. Was he smiling at it? Wait. Were these open before? Yeah, I don't know. Was that like his reflection smiling at him? Or was that just him smiling? He was like, hee hee, I got the key. Yeah, I guess we'll go. I guess we'll go this way. Oh, dear lord, okay. It's with great sadness the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Marie Martin, 38, and Robert Kimball Martin, 40, devoted husband and wife and beloved parents. Their lives tragically came to an end on September 21st due to an accident in their home. Bob was training a training advisor for the United States Navy, and Cindy was a CPA, and more recently at a, and more recently a stay-at-home mother. They were married March 12, 1969, in Balltown. Though not particularly religious, they taught their children to be kind, generous, and involved in the community. A public closed casket memorial will be held at the Tillinghast Funeral Home at 10 a.m. Thursday. Burial service will proceed shortly after. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter Amy and their twin boys Nate and Jason. Oh, we remember, we, we recognize those names, don't we? Uh-oh. I can't help but just think that maybe their deaths... You know, especially having something to do with an in-home accident might just might have had something to do with, you know, Amy or Jason or whatever the other person was. I don't I don't know. Okay, I'm assuming this is what I need. Sick. Oh whoa. Whoa. That scared me. What the heck? I'm being followed by a demon. Okay. Oh! What the frick is that thing? Ew, ew. Demon be gone, demon be gone. Demon be gone, demon be gone, demon. De demon be gone? What the frick are you doing? You just keep being a silly little guy and I'm a. Is this a fight? Yeah, oh, shoot. Yeah, he killed me. You are not an angel. Look at you, bro. Yeah, how's it feel, nerd? Oh. I what this thing's supposed to be. Alright. Ah! What did he say? Oh, I hate when I can't understand what they're saying. It is really hard to understand. Sorry, I was just kind of focused in there. I don't think I said a lot. Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant. Who wrote this? Not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I leave the doctor's office, I see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No worries, just a big warm smile. Somehow it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, huh? I saw her again across the street from the doctors. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. What the freak? Like, I don't I don't know how to interpret this stuff, dude. Like, it's so weird. So was that that lady then? Because when we exercised it, that's when the note came up. So I'm just assuming that they're the same person. Okay, so we got that little skull thing. So I wonder if, like... Yeah, one of them's not lit. Oh, and this guy's gone. Okay, I say we go up. Oh, it's now it's all foggy. And it's just a coffin. Yep, that's alright. Oh, what the heck? I don't think that's how that works. Oh! Oh, what the freak? It's like a little baby. Was that like the woman's son or something? Oh, I can't see the little thing. Oh, I'm not gonna hurt you, little guy. Actually, I probably will. It's in some sort of capacity. 
but it's for your own good. Uh. Yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go. Oh, he hides, oh, he hides in there. Oh, that's such a... Oh, I feel kind of bad now. So yeah, you guys, if anybody's even watching this, um, you guys can tell me if I'm like wrong interpreting this story and stuff like that. I'd love to hear it. Losing grandpa was the hardest thing. Was that grandpa? What's the hardest thing I ever experienced? We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandfather again? I miss him so much. I was willing to try anything. Um, yeah, that doesn't sound very good. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friends' house. They took me down to the basement. I've only, I only saw my grandfather in there. Only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. Oh my god. Can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me that I have the debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. What the freak? Your mom's friends are probably cultists or something. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, I don't know why it didn't work before. Oh! What, what are you saying? Just me. Don't even try me. Do it. What? You'll see me again? Is that what he said? Why was that the easiest fight in like the actual, the entire thing? What the heck? I'm going to Freed. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. Day by day, my body withers away, but night by night. But night, my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge, guided by beings of pure darkness. Does this dude, like, make, like, a deal with, like, a demon or something? Because he was, like, he hated his life or something like that? Forbidden worlds of power and knowledge, being guided by de beings of pure darkness. I have been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon's seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five. First at the top left point, and then down. I will have them in into the woods and I will show them my power. So are these like people like are all these like things they fought and are like people who have made like deals with demons like when they're at like their desperate lowest point to oh look how it's disfigured and then they they make the deals with these devils and they turn into like demons. Oh shoot he's just looking at me. <laughs> Hi buddy. What's going on? You wanna give it to me? Oh! Uh-oh. Oh, I'm bleeding now. I'll take the key though, thank you. Oh. Oh! What the crap? That freaked me out. What the heck? I didn't know trees could do that. You get back here! I know you're in here, little guy. You! Okay, no, no, it's, it's, it's you! No, I'm just kidding. I know it wasn't that one. I know it's this one, just kidding. Oh, it's not this one. Uh, but I know it's this one. Okay, no, just 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 kidding with you. No, but for real, it's this. One. Oh, what the? Amy, is that you? What the freak? She guards the door to underground purgatory. I have not seen her. Children fear her. Yes, that makes a lot. That makes sense. I would fear her too. What the freak? Confess thy sins. Dude, this chapter is way way more crazy than the last one. I have no idea what's going on right now. There's like so much stuff going on. Day one of our paranormal investigation into this old Snake Meadow Hill church. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. On our way, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we've heard before. Evil spirits dragging children... Wait, where was I? Dragging children into the cornfield in secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently, it has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was just even, there was even an old rhyme they told us. Walk the church room to room and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome. We're gonna try this game tonight. <laughs> as soon as we get settled in. What the heck, did some YouTuber ghost hunters make that note? I bet they did. Okay, well I saw Amy or whoever that little purple thing was run behind the church, not in it. What is that? Is this supposed to be like a TV screen or something? Night three. Shouldn't have come here. Tape's missing. Lars stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back. Can't leave anyway. Oh. Great. Uh, tell me to confess thy sins, so... 
Oh. Wait, am I supposed to go on this one or this one? Pray for me, Father, for I have sinned. save you to your face. I try to save a girl from evil, but my fears overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry. Oh, okay, we're getting some more. Vows to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again, but in the end, I couldn't save her. I okay. left her to die. I am sorry for me and my past sins. Lois said will. Here is my penance. I don't like the child to be. No. You're not. Thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for his good. For his mercy and yours forever. Bro, who do you think you're talking to right now? Who is it you think you see? Do you know how much I make a year? Because I don't. I don't feel like they're probably a good person. Aw. Oh, okay. Wait. What? Wait, what? What is this? What is this? Who are you? What? Amy? Night one. We still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth leading to this hallway. Henry's going into town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we can't get these boards off some of these doors. That's not even the best part. We caught EVP and EVP. You can hear it. Can't hear it on the tape very well. But to us, it kind of sounded like laughing. Thank God we brought the nice mic. We'll review it. We'll review it on the sound gear once we get back into town. Oh. That was just the spirit from when I exercised. Anyway, I don't feel like we talked to, like, a person on the other side of that confession booth. That felt like a demon. You know, when he said, you know, bring the child to me in scary glitch letters? Yeah. So, something about that just felt like a little... No. What was that? Was that see? Wait. Is that like a trapdoor or something? I saw some stairs, I think. Where's this? Night two, we're gonna be rich. We've caught supernatural stuff on camera before. Doors opening on their own, things falling off shelves, but nothing like this. Tonight, while we're trying to the spindly lady game again, one of the candles on the floor lit up by itself as soon as Lars walked into the room. It was nuts, and we got it all on film. We're gonna make a fortune selling this at the TV stations. Yikes. Uh, no, something tells me that they're gonna die, as we, you know, saw in the night three note. Um, don't think they were very, I don't think they were lucky enough to make it on TV, or, you know, out of this place. Oh, shoot. I don't want to play the spindly lady game. That sounds scary. Watch the candles. Okay, I'm looking at the candles. I want this cross. I like the big cross. Oh, it's got an eye on it. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. It's ah! As long as you don't turn these ones upside down, I think we're okay. Okay, watch the candles. So, too, do, am I going to try and light, light them all up or what? There's definitely something weird going on in this room. Oh wait, it changed. There was something weird going on in this room. Oh! I was just trying to change the rooms, my guy. I was just trying to see what happens with the candles. What the frick? One in here again. So So we so we don't want the candles to go out, I'm guessing. Okay, this one's got two. What happens if I could go back in here? I just leave. Because we did see who I'm uh, just assuming is Amy go up here, so. Uh, maybe. If you don't kill me, and hurt me, maybe I'll help you. But I feel like it. I had to come back. I had to walk through the corn one last time. I wasn't sure what I would find. The dogs, the children, the thing that took them. It had been five years. I couldn't find the little graves anymore. I just walked in the field until I found that stupid grinning scarecrow as I listened to the night winds wind blowing through crops. As I listened to the night winds blowing through the crops, it was like the scarecrow was mocking me. I turned around to go back, and that's when I heard it behind me. Well, it was more like I felt it. I didn't dare turn around. We just stood there. Me, the scarecrow, and the doomed child. Finally, I mustered up a tiny bit of courage and turned to look it immediately fled the opposite direction, crashing through the rows of corn. I ran too. What little I saw of it drained the blood from my face and made me made my skin crawl. 
I say it because whatever it was, whatever I was looking at, didn't have a face, just a bloody gaping hole. It is Amy! So we hear her or see her behind us. With a look. So I wonder if the candles are like representative of like where she is. Like it, it, like it, like if it's almost like a layout of the house, and like the candles is like where like you could find her spirit. See now there's one candle. Does that mean she's in here? Like oh. Shoot. Oh, shoot. Nope, not today. Ah! Mm. No, oh, oops, wrong one. Okay, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. Okay, I no, I don't know what I just did, but uh, you know, I'll take it. Who's watching me now? Reach the basement of Snake Meadow Hill Church. Oh, it's bones everywhere. It's my final memoir. I hastily scribble on a page of the good book. I now descend the staircase, knowing full well that she waits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as as we know it on the surface. Even now, the hands don't move past two o'clock. God's work be done. I've only been to wit. Break. Oh. Oh, it's so creepy down here. I hate it. I don't know what that means. Oh, and it's dead silent too. Don't do that to me. Oh, uh, what? Oh, it's like it almost grabbed me or something. Ah! No! 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 What the frick? What? I mean, I am supposed to do it in a certain order, like... Okay, hold on. Let me cook, let me cook. This. 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 Yes! I'm so smart. What the frick is that? A mother of demons? Who? Bro, this is way, way more unhinged than the last chapter for Sherzies. Oh, hi guys. Yeah, let's just go the way towards where they're running from. Okay, uh, so we got a bloody ritual here. Good sign, you love to see it. Three murdered in the latest wave of ritualistic killing, Sterling. Con. I don't know what that means. The bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night, and what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood, Angel Nogales, Nogales, I'm so bad at reading names, Troy Inglis, are the names of unfortunate victims who, who, who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a paganistic ritual. What the? Pandemonium Regnant? Reagan, I apologize for my lack of reading skills. Two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. The bodies were found several miles from Gallup Cemetery, where residents reported a tomb had been desecrated. They also found trails of blood leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment on whether or not these two incidents could be related. The arrangement of the bodies in a ritualistic pattern, as well as the writing of certain symbols in blood matches the style of several murders that have occurred in the Sterling area since 1986. The killings may be connected to the two last weeks, to last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl, by John Ward. Ward had impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust before luring her into the woods and killing her. What? Wait, what? Investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious activity to the police. Authorities are... Um... Authorities are urging the people of Sterling to not mourn the loss of Atwood, Nogalus, and Ingles, because after all, they were 
degenerate, devil-worshipping thugs who were hooked on crack cocaine and hated their parents while even conducting an investigation at all. That's what you would like them to think, wouldn't you, John? What? Dude, this is so cool. They were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did the community a favor when you found them getting high in that tomb. You stalked them through the graves and killed them one by one. You ignored their cries for help, their pleas for mercy. You put holes in, in their ruined drug addict, addict bodies and then you chopped off their heads because everyone knows that removing the head is the only way to kill a snake. Well, guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You can't kill the snake. You cannot kill what can't be killed. Thou shalt not raise up what thou canst not put down again. Thou couldst not kill Amy. Thou shalt not destroy my works, for there are works of the eternal dragon. Even now, she is at the, thy door. Her hand is at thy door. Or, her hand is at thy throat. Yet you see her not. I will have thy soul, for I am the god of this world. Pandemo- Oh! Good lord! What did we do? What did John do? These demons are not very happy with him. Oh, 6666 six, 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 in the shape of an upside down cross. Oh my god. I don't want to know what I'm about to see. I'm here, John. Oh shoot. That was sick. Oh my. Oh, hi, Amy. Hi. Yeah, I remember last time. I'm so sorry about that. Oh dear god. Is that us? Oh! <gasps> oh, dude, we've been turned into a demon. Oh, listen to that sound he runs around. Are we just... stuck like this forever in purgatory? Just aimlessly running around? What is this? Going towards the light? Oh. Is that Amy? Fixing his car. I can't move. Did I break it? Oh. No, I'm John again. What the heck? Is that Amy and maybe like... Somebody, like, she knows? Candy tunnel. Dude, this is not where I thought the story was going. So their car broke down on the side of the road. Death awaits. Enter the candy tunnel? Is John, like, is this just, like, the demons messing with us? Or is John, like, actually, like, a murderer? Some skeletons. Multiple officers wounded, one dead in sewer tunnel shootout. Law enforcement officials are reporting multiple officers down, including one deputy who was fatally wounded. Oh! Fatally wounded after an exchange of gunfire in the sewer tunnels near Snake Meadow Hill Road, also known as the Candy Tunnel. Witnesses say they heard the shots approximately 10 minutes after police raided the tunnels where the suspect... This suspected murderer, Joe Bauman, aka the Candy Store Killer, was alleged to be hiding alleged to be hiding. At this time, it's not known how many officers have been wounded, although it has been confirmed that one officer has been killed. Officials are not saying if Bowman, Bowman was wounded in the exchange, and efforts are being made to recover the casualties from the tunnels. I am so I'm so lost. I, like, this is so interesting. So these are the officers? This is so messed up. Two more dead discovered outside Candy Tunnel near Sterling. Two more bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch under Snake Meadow Hill Road outside Sterling. The notorious Candy Tunnel known in the area to be a home addicting gangs to addicts, gangs, runaways, and the ind 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 indigent- oh, Why can't I say that? That is like such a simple word. Has been the site of several grisly discoveries over the past three months. Since May, five bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch leading to the tunnels. Authorities are being pressured by concerned citizens to search the tunnels amid fears of a possible connection to Joe Bauman, aka the candy store killer, who has came claimed eight victims in Connecticut and Rhode Island over the past year. What the freak? What the flip? What the what the flick? Oh boy, I see you. Is that you, Joe? Joe, more like Joe Mama. Gotta. I'm scared. This game is scary. You. Oh. You can read these. Okay, wait, hold on. When you see it, don't don't move. Okay, good to know. When you see it, don't move. What? This is so twisted. This is. Oh. oh, oh, dude, what are you? I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Hi, buddy. Hi. Oh, oh, this is so cool. What the heck? I'm like so hooked right now. I want to know what this is. I want to know where this is going. I want to know the story. I want to know everything. 
It's as far as I'll go to hide my stash. Nobody goes past the first pipe. Nobody except those strange people with their bodies painted red and their eyes like animals. Twice a month they come in and pass right through into the deeper tunnel. Sometimes I can hear them yelling or chanting. Sometimes I hear something like an old woman laughing. Sometimes I hear things that aren't even human. Whatever they are, they sound really, really big. Oh! Oh my god! Don't- ow, don't- ow, ow, stop, ow, 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 ow. So it's like he went this way. There's nothing here, though. Something here? Oh, there is. When I was a boy, my nanny used to tell me old legends about the dragons, trolls, and demons that lived up in the mountains of Norway. In those old tales, the people were never strong enough to kill the monsters, so instead they would sacrifice one of their own to appease it. That's terrible. I almost just pressed the spacebar again. What is wrong with me? Keep it satisfied. It was like a deal with the devil. One sacrifice per year so that the beast would not come down from the mountain and slaughter the entire village in one night. There was no candy store killer. What we're dealing with isn't even human. When I got separated from the other officers, I saw that dang thing dragging what was left of Jenkins down into the lair. That's when I understood. The bums and the tweakers, the ones with the grid, with, with grid, and the child... Oh, what? Runaways. That's terrible. They'll eventually come back to the tunnels. They always do. It can have- it, it can have them, for all I care. Nobody wants them around except that thing. And I tell you what, I hope God- I hope to God it never gets tired of them. Yikes. So it's been like feeding off of like, just kind of like the- the- the people who are really struggling down here who come here to escape. So, he did go in here. How do I- how do I get over there? He was going to his little lair. Is there an arrow? Is it, wait, should I go up? Oh. Look at me. Look at me being aware of my surroundings. <laughs> I'm gonna say right now, Faith might be like one of the coolest horror games I've ever played. It's just so, it's just so unique. Okay, don't wanna go in there yet. Seems like a bad idea. Or maybe following the blood trail seems like a bad idea. I'm not sure. Let's follow the blood trail. Let's not follow the blood trail. Where do I go? Just walls here. Uh, no, don't do this to me. This is so scary. Is there a wall here? Or am I just moving up? Yeah, oh! Alright, let's not go. Oh my god. Let's not go into the dark area then, I guess. Good lord. Maybe we're supposed to get like a lamp or something so we can see him? Like, bro, maybe take one of these candles with you? What's this? Oh, heck no, dude. Oh, absolutely. Dude, what the frick are you? Die, 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 What? Oh. No, no, no. Ah. Can't catch me, what? Perish, please. Please, demon. I'm not- did you say you're mine forever? Valentine's Day was a long time ago, buddy. Oh my god, that was not okay. Oh! Hi, real little red man. He is here? Yeah, me? Yeah, be afraid, buddy. I actually don't know what to think about John. Is he like- Cause like, in those notes, it's like- Did he- Did he actually? Oh, I can't read that. What the frick? Enter the hidden sanctum. Crash your party. Oh, Amy. Uh, sorry about that. Ooh. It's locked. So, Amy. Uh, I'm gonna need a key. I'm gonna need that key. They hate the light. Good. Oh. 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 Hi. Oh, uh yeah, get out, get out, get out, get out. Yeah, uh. no, no, stay away, stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back. Hey, hey, you get back, you get back, you get back, you get. Oh, oh, I just compl I completely forgot. I literally have a cross. Why wasn't I using it? Okay, let's see if I can back them all up into a corner. Hi. What do I do? Back. Hi, how are you? Oh, deep. Oh, 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 Amy, 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 Amy. 
I swear to God, I saw Amy. What the frick? Where did you come from? Amy, what, 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 what? Ah, I'm out. I'm not even gonna look. Key, 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 key. Whoa. Don't be doing this. Hi! No. Stop it with that creepy freaking soundtrack, dude. I want that note. I'm going back. I'm unlocking that stupid door. I'm out of here. All right. All right, guys. I don't know what we're about to see in here, but it was nice knowing y'all. Okay, never mind. It's just a nice yeah. little. Oh! No, get away. I'm not your little one. Get, yeah, yeah, get out of here. <gasps> Father Garcia. Let's go. Let's go, Father Garcia. Yeah. Let's do it. I got your back. I got your back, bro. Don't even worry about it. Yes, it's true what happened to Amy. You are no murderer. God, there is no but you do have God. But so she's just salty. Okay. So he's not really a murderer. Like, so he was, he was trying to help by, like... Uh, like getting rid of the demons, but he couldn't. He couldn't help. He couldn't. He couldn't save them. And so now they're blaming him for their murder. Hey, little friend, who are you, huh? Oh. Yeah, you tell him. Yeah. 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 Get the fuck out of here. Leave Father Garcia alone. Come on. Oh. Go away. Go away. Go away. You might want to hurry this up, Father Garcia. Oh, oh! He did. Dude, the cross didn't work. Maybe I shouldn't be spamming it. Maybe I should be holding the button. I don't know. Got you, bro. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. Come on, Father Garcia, please. Shoot! Oh, shoot. I accidentally got too close to her. Please, Father Garcia, don't stand there. Are they even after you, or are they just after me? No, they're after you, too. Okay, well, that's why you don't stand. I wonder if you can get an ending by, like, like if Father Garcia dying, but you but you still survive? I'm not going to, because I like Father Garcia. I would never want him to die. Oh, God. Yeah! Oh, no! Ah! Ah! Father Garcia! Where, are, where art thou? I don't want to. Ah! Okay, at least I don't have to restart that whole thing. Let's go. Okay, and I'm dead again. All right, come at me. See what happens. Yeah. Get away from me, you little freak. Oh, the noise is so awful. Ah! Why don't you ever face the right way, dingus? Ah! She keeps getting so close, especially when she comes at me diagonally. Ah! Stop screaming! Father Garcia! Father Garcia! Save me! Don't even pull that Amy crap on me. Uh, Father, Father Garcia, please. Leave father alone. Oh, leave me alone, actually. Father, no. Ah. Is he supposed to die? I'm assuming he's supposed to die. Oh, okay. I got this. Got. You will not die. You will not die in vain, father. Uh, 
<laughs> yes! Oh, good lord! It's the tree! Oh. Oh, it was all just a bad dream. The morning breaks. Oh my god, dude, I hope, I hope that was supposed to happen with him dying. I don't want to be responsible for his death. John, I'm sorry, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I'll at least love you back, Molly. Oh. Got, got, got divorced because our wife is like, I can't deal with your demon crap anymore. I'm not going in there. Why not, John? Why not? What's in there, John? John, it is not too late. Your soul can still be saved. All is not lost. Please wait for my next letter. For now, I have many questions that need answering. In the meantime, be careful. They're watching you, Father Garcia. <gasps> Father Garcia, are you alive? Or is this a flashback? I, nightmare, but did I, really do the right thing? I don't know. I don't know what is real anymore. Me my neither. Face is weak, and I feel a dark shadow over me. Uh oh. If I can save the boys, maybe I will find what I'm looking for. So, wait, so we're we talking about Jason and the other kid? Like, he can't save Amy, but maybe he can save the brothers? No! No, you. He can drive? Road to Redemption, ending two. Ooh, what's an effect? The background's unlocked, I wanna see. I want to see my new background. It better be sick as heck. That's pretty cool. Is that, so it's these two, right? Chapter 2 splash. Cornfield. Still like this one the best. Alright, so I'm just gonna try and like piece- I'm gonna like try and see if I can piece together what I just experienced. So, it was a nightmare. I guess. So was it really real? Like, not even- not even John knows. So he's been having trouble with his family and trying to save people and he feels guilty and so Father Garcia is trying to save him, I guess. Somebody, like, no, not a lot of people are going to watch it, especially not this far, but if you did and you know a lot about this game and you'd like to just explain a couple things without spoilers, by the way, um, I'd appreciate that. But, um, yeah, anyway, I think this is where I'm going to leave this one off. So make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. I'll definitely, I'll definitely be uh, doing Chapter 3 at some point, but yeah. Alright, bye.